Hello and welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skid Vitz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grab hammers um, so that you can pretend you are Thor or Captain America or maybe even the Vision. Um, whoever you want to be, you can be it. We're going to be using VRIF. So if you don't have that, you might want to get that because it's the easiest way to make games for the Oculus Quest. But before we get started, please make sure to hit the like button so that YouTube tells people that I exist. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that too. Now, without any further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Unity 2020 LTS. Um, I've got VRIF installed. I've dragged in the XR rig. Uh, I placed it on a plane so that we have a place to stand on as usual. So, I'm going to go ahead and build our favorite hammer. First thing I'm going to do is create an empty object, which I will call the hammer. All right. Now in here, we're going to create a couple of child items. So we will create a cube. And I'm going to move this up. I don't know where it is, but uh, oh, it's all the way here. Let's reset its transform so that it's somewhere we can actually mess with. All right. So now we have this ginormous cube. Uh, so I'm going to reduce that down to uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Yeah, that's good. Great, and let's zoom in a little bit. And now I'm also gonna create a cylinder as a child here. So we'll go cylinder. And that's way too big. So I'm gonna set this to 0 0.02, 0 0.1, and 0 0.02 again. Great. So we're getting there. And now uh, I just need to bring that down so that it's not uh, up so high. Should be good. Yeah. Okay, so we've done the hard part. Uh, now I'm going to create one more little object here. It's going to be an empty game object. And this is going to be called the grab point. You can call it whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to call it. And it's basically going to represent where will we be holding this thing. So as you can see, it's up in the middle of the hammer. I want to put this down here a little lower towards where the handle is. All right, so now comes the fun part. So in the hammer, the hammer is going to need a few things. So first thing we're going to want to add is a rigid body. And we're going to set the collision detection to continuous so it doesn't fall through things. We'll set the mass to 10 so it's nice and heavy. And that should be all we need to affect with that. Uh, then we're going to need a couple of colliders, so we can add a uh, box collider, which as you can see is massive, so we'll want to match that to our cube, which I believe was 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Yep, perfect. All right, and so that's all we'll need to set there. Then we'll need a capsule collider, and this is going to be our handle. And that's also too big. So we will set this to, what is it, point zero, zero 0.01 maybe? Yeah, that's nice and thin. Um, it's too tall, so we'll set a height of point 0.3. No, point, yeah, point 0.3 is fine. Point 0.2 should be good enough, actually. So we'll set it down to point 0.2, and you can see it's kind of in the wrong place. So we will adjust its vertical position to like negative point one, point oh five. No, that's the wrong way. Fifteen. There we go. So now it's right where the handle is, and you can see that well enough. Okay. So now uh, we're good with this capsule collider. And then we can actually start adding in the uh, grabbable stuff. So go ahead and add a component. Look for grabbable. Let's see it right there. 
Here we'll change the physics from velocity to physics joint. We want to make sure we can grab it from a distance, so we'll set remote grabbable to true. And we might want to increase the range of how far we need to be to grab it so that we have the desired effect. I'll set this to like 10. And then at the bottom of this is the key part here, the grab points, right? So if I click on add, it'll ask me for a transform and we created this transform over here called grab point. So we just go ahead and drag that over there. And that's all there is to this. Uh, we can close this one and we'll add one more thing. There's a grabbable ring helper, which will draw the little circle to let you know you can pick something up. So we'll add that to this. You don't need to configure it in any way, shape or form. And we should be done. So I'll go ahead and pop on my headset and let's see what this looks like. Okay, so lo and behold, there is a hammer on the ground. And as you can see, as I wave my hand around, that little ring indicator lets you know that it can be grabbed. So once it's orange like that, just grab the grip and boom. Now we have yum, 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 yum. And we can do this till the cows come home. And there you have it, quick and easy as usual. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, of course, if you're not subscribed so that I know you want me to keep making more videos. Until the next time, I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.